We went days without finding a single toy for Sophie. Like that was her request. Because <laughs> Mr. Bolt always asks, what do you guys want to find? What should we find today? <laughs> and Sophie, of course, said she wanted to find a toy. <laughs> so she wanted her daddy to find a toy. But we found this, <laughs> which I like it. <laughs> it's nice. It was complete too. So it was a shower caddy kind of thing. Shower. And yep, worked great, perfect. Just uh, the box was open, but Mr. Volt is still looking for a toy. <laughs> and I know you guys, you know, sometimes you watch these videos and there's times that we find like massive amounts, but there's times that we don't find anything, like anything at all. <laughs> so we had been driving around day after day and no luck. We weren't finding like barely anything. <laughs> but, you know, we kept looking and bam, we found some good stuff. So make sure to stick around, keep watching because we're gonna be showing some more of what we find. Uh, we couldn't fit it all in this video, so we're gonna be putting out another video soon. So stay tuned and make sure to subscribe to see what else is out there in the dumpsters. Just in case you're curious as to what these stores are throwing away. A brand new cutting board. <laughs> so I, we actually needed a cutting board too. Um, <laughs> yeah, our son loves to cook and when he gets with, you know, his meats and stuff. Yeah, let's just say we needed a new cutting board. <laughs> and an empty box. You will find empty boxes too while dumpster diving, so if you need a box, check out the dumpsters. There's plenty for everyone. We got a lot of shoe boxes in here. Oh, that's so pretty. It was missing a leg though. I guess we could have taken it. But, um, yeah, we have a lot of projects right now. So many, so many projects. Okay, so we got some illegal dumping over here. Because they do not sell skis at these stores. That's for sure. So we have found many many equipment like this let's see 259 dollars for some skis so not bad ski season is coming up for us over here we have found snowboards before we found wakeboards lots of stuff so People want them too, so that's something good that, you know, you, if you find something like this, check it out. It's worth anything. Make sure it has all the pieces and parts. Because you can definitely, like, sell some stuff, so, um, you know, dumpster diving finds. We do not do yard sales. Uh, we got that question before, and um, I might have to look for it and see if I can put it up on the screen somewhere, but... Yeah, someone did ask us about yard sales. Uh, no, we do not do yard sales. Um, we will occasionally sell some stuff on eBay, um, but that's more like industrial stuff. For the most part, you know, like clothes, shoes, home goods, all that kind of stuff, um, most of it gets donated. Uh, we do have friends and family that like to go through and pick out the stuff that they want. So we'll hold it for a little while and then we'll see what we need to do with it. And I know I need to get back on some of you guys with uh, your curtain rods. <laughs> so yes, I know. I have not forgotten, but I will get back to you um, if you're not sure what I'm talking about. <laughs> I did mention in another video that, you know, Mr. Volt, he found like these pallets full of curtain rods that his companies were throwing out. They were getting rid of them. Um, so we have like pretty much right now, like our whole garage filled with curtain rods. So it is... It's hard to get through them all right now, but I've been just trying to sort through them and figure out what's good, what's not, and, you know, we have donated a lot already so far. Um, but yeah, we're just 
still working through that. <laughs> this was the toy. This was the one toy that we found <laughs> uh, this day. So make sure to stay tuned because we did find more later, but that's in another video. That was actually a really good find that day. So yeah, stick around because I think that's going to be in the next video that we put out. That one is a big one. Yeah, but it's too much to put into one video. to pick up some stuff. Maybe like if every dumpster diver just picks up a little, little piece of trash then everything will be cleared out. And, you know, it's not your job to clean up around the dumpster, but that's just uh, that's a way for us to say thank you <laughs> for uh, not destroying all these wonderful products that you threw away in the dumpster. But yeah, we save what we can. trying to find his table to show you guys these big old bones <laughs> these are pretty big too those are probably too big for our little fiolas <laughs> yeah but we do have many people that you know need some of this stuff too and what we've been doing too because we have received comments also about you know homeless people in our area and they do have pets so what we've been doing is putting like some little um, Ziploc bags with some of this dog food too. So we'll leave those also um, because we know that there's a lot of people out here, you know, they have their dogs and that's comfort for them and, you know, our food is expensive. <laughs> so yeah, for homeless we do put them in Ziploc bags so we're going to be showing that later as well. And then we just close it off right on there, you know, dog food. Free. And we find a lot of stuff. Like we find a lot of pet stuff. So yeah, once again, something that we never have to buy. And they actually, they throw out like some good brands too. A lot of decorative stuff over here. We got some fish stuff, like. Little rocks and beta bamboo. Okay, so I mentioned about this before because uh, our daughter, she has a beta fish. Um, but we were told because sometimes, um, because they have the, the fins and you know, they're so thin that if you have like plastic plants, they can get torn. So they can get caught in the plants and it tears their fins because they're so thin. Um, so we were told to just purchase real plants or silk plants. So I just want to put that out there in case somebody missed that. Because I know it said beta something on there, but beta bamboo. Um, but yeah, it looked like it was plastic, so it could be wrong. <laughs> but just a little tip for you guys. And feel free to leave your tips in the comments. Trust me, we do appreciate all of your tips, tips, tricks, all kinds of dumpster diving advice. And a big, big thank you to all of our members. You would have seen that banner in the beginning of the video, but we do a shout out for you guys, just as a little extra thank you. We are trying to get these videos out like ahead of time and on schedule so we get so busy but we are really trying to do that so hopefully starting next week you know we can get you guys um, an early video for our members and then have our regular videos scheduled maybe like every Sunday I want to say so 
hopefully we can stick to that schedule and then just have like a set time and have it scheduled for you guys so you guys know when our videos are coming out because i know that you guys are saying also in the comments that you have you know notifications on and they're not popping up or you're subscribed to the channel and it's not popping up so make sure to enable the notifications Still more dogs in here. So much. Oop, it's falling out. <laughs> get it, get it. Don't let it fall. So there's like really good brands in here too you can even make your own dog food i mean you can go online and look up recipes for dog food dog treats so they have like some more natural stuff just of course always be careful with the ingredients that you're putting in it's <laughs> a little dog toy in there So yeah, this is like the the most toys we found like for a while. We've been looking like every day. <laughs> I guess you can count this as a toy. I mean, technically it's a dog toy, <laughs> but it's still fun. <laughs> yeah, we did give that to our little Chihuahua, so they like it. like a dog food day. We got bags and bags of dog food. And there's another one of those toys. Those ones are cute so you just like squeeze it and it like pops out the ball. <laughs> I like them. I'm sure your dogs like them too. <laughs> Sometimes we see these dumpsters like full of dog food. So I mean you could even scoop it out and get it like that. Um, but you know, it's better when it's all packaged up nice and neat for you. So as you can see from the gift card, that's Old Navy. And we actually, we love Old Navy. I mean, they never cut up their clothes. Um, so we do, like if we donate clothes, we'll take the tags off, like, you know, where they scan it. Um, just so people don't return them like that. But, um, cause yeah, we don't, I mean, we don't want to mess with the store like that. But if they're being thrown away, I mean, someone can still use it. You know, if they need some, some clothes, they can use it like that. If we sell them, like, because there's sometimes where we have sold some, I mean, we'll just, we'll leave the tags on because I don't think people are going to buy them and then try and return them. But, who knows? <laughs> Hopefully they're not doing that. Okay, and here we have some coffee. It's actually pretty good, too. It's like a cold brew coffee black coffee, and lots and lots and lots and lots of cake. <laughs> like so many different flavors of cake, boxes of cakes. So Mr. Volt was looking through these bags right here, but yeah, look at so many. A little glimpse inside, some lemon, plain, I think there's some marble over there too. I think there was chocolate. But lots of them. I mean, there's so many. 
So these ones are good like that if you want to just eat the cake like that. Um, you know, what I've done too is also use that for cake pops since it's already made. And sometimes like some of those flavors are a little sweet. So I'm gonna just put them like that. Like you can do cake pops with them. Or just eat them straight like that. But either way, they're still good. They should not be thrown away. And the thing is, you know, with these stores, even if it's like close to the Best Buy date, they're just gonna toss all this stuff out. And California, I'm not sure about other places, but California has laws on that, like to protect these businesses, you know, where they can donate this stuff. But they'd rather just throw it out. So, that's the sucky part, you know. At least they're not destroying it. I mean, that's one good thing. Yeah, and a lot fits into these bags. So, they are double bagged too. So, that's a good thing. And you do check everything. And as you can see, they are very good. Lots and lots of goodies for the blessing box. Let us know if you guys have any blessing boxes near you. If you're not sure, you can check with your city. Sometimes churches have them. Sometimes they're outside of parks. Schools, places like that. But just always keep up after them. You know, even if you don't have food to donate, what you can do is to organize them. That's a huge help. This one right here is actually a new one, so it got destroyed and uh, rebuilt. So that's a good thing, and it's bigger. Make sure to subscribe, like, leave a comment, and have a great day. Bye.